So this is a tutorial on how to install the NMSU VPN client on a Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to do is navigate in your browser to the website vpn.nmsu.edu and I'm going to put this link down in the description of this video so you can also get to it from there. So once you're there it's going to prompt you for your MyNMSU username and password which I'm going to enter mine now. And once you're logged in, it's going to give you a nice big button that says download for Windows. Um, so you're just going to hit that button to download and install. And uh, if you're using Chrome like me, it'll show up in this bottom left hand corner. Um, otherwise, you can also go to uh, Explorer and Downloads and see the same file there. So either way you get to it is fine. We're just going to double click the installer to run it. And we're going to go through it together. So just hit Next. Accept the terms of the license agreement. You can read through it if you need to and install. So just give it a quick second. And click finish when it's done. So now that it's uh, installed, uh, the way you can get to Cisco is you can either search here for Cisco any connect and click it there or you can get to it through your start menu folders and it's actually located under the Cisco folder. So I'm just going to click that and open it for the first time and you're going to see this window pop up over here called Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. Um, so I already have the address typed in the box. If yours shows up blank, you're going to need to type in vpn.nmsu.edu here in this box. Um, and so then just click connect. And again, it's going to be your MyNMSU username along with your password. And click OK. and it says I'm connected. Um, so this is useful if you're at home and you need to you know, get onto the NMSU VPN to utilize any of the license servers um, or if you need it for accessing files here, anything that requires VPN um, that's how you install and connect. To disconnect it's pretty easy, it's going to be hidden down here in your system tray and uh, you'll see the Cisco AnyConnect logo right here and you can just right click it and click disconnect and you'll notice now if I open it it is no longer connected. So that's all there is to it.